Hey, what's up? It's Jake. And uh, we left off doing some inputs and we're gonna switch over to doing module locals. So as you can see here, I went crazy with my inputs and I found all kinds of stuff um, to create variables for. So my auto scaling group name, my launch template name, just tons and tons of stuff. And the reason I did this was so that I could have um, some input values that I could stick in my stage main file and my prod main file so that um, uh, it's easy for me to change like the auto scaling group desired min max numbers for stage and for prod or which key I want to use. So I set up separate key pairs, uh, name tags for instances, launch templates, auto scaling groups, security groups, pretty much everything. Um, even my load balancer. So, uh, yeah, so we got all that set up with inputs. And if you go take a look at the module, um, I've actually updated all this stuff to use variables as well. But there's still some things left, like here, I have a listener listening on port 80. I have a load balance target on port 80. I have from port 80 to port 80 for ingress and security. So there's some things I'm using a lot and and also like cider blocks any any I use twice negative one I use once from port zero to zero I use twice so I don't use them a lot but I've used 80 quite a lot right so the idea behind a module local is that you can define a variable that's going to be used internal to your module so it's not going to be used anywhere else so if i wanted to make a variable for port 80 i could do that with locals and i would just be using that inside of this module it wouldn't be anywhere else and it's just to help maintain the code easier the key to using modules is not to over or, or locals is to not to overuse locals um, once you find out about them and if you go through any guides, it has you updating everything and it's just kind of going to get practice. But in reality, you only want to change something that, or to use a local for something that could change often and that requires a lot of management. All outbound traffic, I'm never going to change this. It's, this is always going to be zero to zero, negative one, and it's always going to be zero, 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 zero. Ingress always going to be zero, zero, zero. So I don't really need to, to, to create variables for these because I'm never going to change them. However, I might have a different port for dev or prod or whatever um, that I've seen that in the past where some people use port 81 for dev and port 82 for test and etc. etc. Maybe just port 80 for prod. Uh, the, again, that, that might not even be a thing. But for the sake of just practicing something, we're going to go ahead and use a local, a module local for port 80. Um, so the idea behind this is you create, I'll just make one like up here at the top. We create a little, a little locals guy. Okay. And then you're just going to start defining stuff. So I'm going to say HTTP port equals 80. And that's it. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna put in there. Okay. Then the from port, I can say local dot http port, and I can put that here, and I can put it here, and I can put it here. So four, four places. And if and if I wanted to make now, um, like I said, this is internal. So if our app, we change the HTTP port to be on port 443, um, I could just go 443, and now my load balancer, my security group, my uh, ingress like from port to port, and my target group all have the same setting, and I just change it in that one place. So it's not like something I think you're going to use a lot, if maybe even ever. But that's how it works, and that's what it does. Um, so at least you've seen that. So now let's just validate that this works. So I change this lo member local in the module. So I'm in this prod web server cluster. Let's do a Terraform format and then a Terraform validate. 
and take a look here. It's valid. All right, now let me do a plan. So Terraform plan. We should be able to see the actual port 80 values in the plan. Let me scroll up a little bit so we can see and take a look now. Come on. There we go. All right, so we can see here from port 80, if I scroll all the way to the top, we can see my listener, port 80. Um, so it's passing in my values. I've got all my values um, in addition to all the other values that I set as variables. So that works, seems to be seems to be good. So I can go ahead and leave that in place just so it's there as a reference. But that is a module local and how you would go about using it. So if you have any questions about when to use a local or whether or not it makes your code easier to read or, hey, I don't change this very often. Do you think maybe in your opinion I should use a local? If you have to ask, I would just say don't use one. Um, but just remember that it's something you have to do internal to your module and that you're not going to be able to read this from anywhere outside of your module. So just definitely make sure it's something you want everywhere because everything's using this module. If you If you didn't want to set that as a local, what you would do is instead create a variable and establish what your HTTP port was as a, a variable inside of the module. And that's pretty much it.